So for this challenge, the theme is hopscotch. The idea is to try and find as many different things you can do uh, following the hopscotch theme of going from one to two to one to two and preferably alternating sides. So if you do left as the one on the first time, then you do right as the one on the second time. Alice has shown you through a couple of our ideas here. Feel free to try any of these exercises and add your own. So remember the, th the idea here isn't to get really good at hopscotch, but what we're really looking for is how can you make the basic exercises that don't take up a lot of room, don't take up a lot of space, aren't likely to get you injured, and how can we just uh, make them a little bit more interesting or a little bit more difficult. So you might be doing this for fun just and find all the silliest, stupidest things you can you can do to, to make hopscotch work. Or if you're in the middle of a workout and actually you've got stuff that alternates right and left side or that has variations between both hands and one hand or both feet and one foot, uh, if you add in the hopscotch part, again, it just means you have to think a little bit harder and that's gonna get us closer to what our brains have to deal with when we're doing circus work. So when we're having to make difficult decisions really, really quick, um, that doesn't really happen a lot when we're doing conditioning training at home. Usually that's very short, precise movements. Um, so if we wanna combine those two things together, uh, it's a good idea to just make your brain think a little bit more. So try them out, let us know what you think. If you came up with anything that was really cool, uh, we'd love to hear about it, so leave a comment. Otherwise, we'll see you later.